Usually I have a podium to hide my cheat sheets, so I'm using a cheat sheet, I confess. Um, what do I say to go next slide? Do I just say Well, you may slide? say next slide. Don't say <laughs> I love this. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> All right. See how it works. What, Aim what? it at, at, at the computer, not at uh, the screen. There's like, it's like a there's Star Trek microphone here. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, Yeah, yeah, yeah that one, one, one should take you for Yeah, yeah. So it should be. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. So, <laughs> okay. So, I'm not going to use this anymore, that's this. I'm overwhelmed by tools. So, um, this slide is actually from my dad, <laughs> okay? Um, don't be like these guys. So, whenever you come want to come up with a plan or your, your, your life all of a sudden comes to a crossroads, right? You're cruising along, having a good time, and all of a sudden something dramatically, something dramatic changes and you're, you're faced with a myriad of options that you have to make and you're looking at all these paths, you can't see very far, and you're like, oh, now what do I do? Um, we've all been there. I've been a, one second. <laughs> all right, cool. I, I've been a, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Good try. Satisfying anyone. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been a go-getter my whole life, and I have been a, a, a perfect example of one of these guys, right? Uh, 19 years old, okay? Wanted to join the military, wasn't crazy about killing people for a living, uh, wanted to be a businessman, wanted to be a real estate investor, kind of thought we were in a bubble. Uh, turns out I was right, lucky me, but, um, you know, so, so I, I'm, I'm in this funk, right? After, after being pretty successful at a pretty young age, and my dad's like, Matt, what are you, an ostrich? Get your head out of the sand. So that's why, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is totally going in the sideshow. <laughs> Making no decision at all is a decision. Whether you like it or not, inaction is action. And many times it's the worst possible choice you can make. Like the deer in the headlights, right? The deer could go right or left, but if they just don't do anything, they're gone, right? Food, it's for somebody. So anyway, um, planning with PD. So who's in your corner, okay? First, the first thing I would recommend when any life impasse happens, right? Uh, whether it was 19-year-old version of me, why I, I wish I could slap myself and say, "Hey, form a team of advisors. Go talk to your, go talk to people, right? Uh, get some opinions of people you can trust. Form a team, okay? Come up with a plan. Perfect example. One of the first things you should do is do your estate plan, okay? We all should do your estate plan. I tell clients in their 40s that have kids, do your estate plan, right? You never know. The bus could happen. The plane could crash. Everyone needs to do your estate plan, but when you have a life event like a diagnosis like Parkinson's, you're not going to die in tomorrow or five years, so don't worry, right? I'm not a doctor though, disclaimer, but the bigger thing is that you need to come up with a game plan from a financial standpoint as well as from a medical standpoint. Everyone wants to come up with their doctors, uh, 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 formulate a team of their doctors, right? You got your GP, you got your uh, movement disorder specialist, okay, your neurologist, you have a team, okay? The finances should be no different. You should have an estate planning attorney you can trust, your accountant, your financial advisor. Choose the right decision maker as well when it comes to that estate planning, all right? Someone you can trust, and that's different for everybody, okay? Everybody has that guy in the family or gal that not too great with money. Make sure that the, <laughs> you know, ends up with the, the control of the pot, so to speak, right? Might have a Ferrari in the garage of an apartment complex. <laughs> So, here's a few questions that you can ask yourself right off the get-go. How might Parkinson's affect the financial part of the life pie chart, okay? Uh, might you need access to money sooner than you anticipated? From what I hear, those drugs are expensive, okay? Could investment vehicles such as annuities affect your ability to qualify for certain state benefits? You're going to get a handout today of an example of one of the thousand different annuities I can recommend. And generally speaking, full disclosure, I'm not a big annuity fan, generally speaking. Uh, but it's a great idea in certain circumstances for people that can't qualify for long-term care. Probably about half the room. But if you would have been able to qualify for all tax planning, which is something that 99 out of 100 people that have the same job as me, they have no idea about all tax planning. Why? Because my job is to find people with a lot of money, right? So, 
that people like me are, are trying to recommend these products for, that might be suitable for people with a lot of money, but if they would have been able to apply for all techs, you could shoot yourself in the foot and cost yourself a ton of money in fees to exit the product, or you could have artificially too high of an income to qualify for all techs, all because of an annuity, right? So I'm not saying they're bad, I'm saying you've got to talk to somebody that knows what they're doing to say, okay, this path looks good for you. Because just because this path is good for you, might not be good for you, and that's exactly the path you want to go down, right? Everybody's different. So high surrender charges to get out of certain things. Um, what about your ability to qualify for life insurance or long-term care insurance? You think you can go apply for long-term care insurance after you get diagnosed with Parkinson's? You can apply. <laughs> you know what they're going to tell you? <laughs> they're going to tell you to take a hike. <laughs> and nobody tells you that when you're 40. No, they don't. And that's an issue. And the thing is, is when, when you apply for long-term care, here's something else they don't tell you. If you apply and you get a denial on your record, that's a big red flag for a lot of insurance companies. That's the last thing you want to do. So uh, a, smarter, a smart way to go about it is, in, I'm getting ahead of myself, but look at indemnity style care. If there's one healthy spouse, all right, whichever one it is, you can get insurance on you that has indemnity style benefits so that if you get, let's say you fall and break a hip or you're diagnosed with something, right? You're the caretaker, right? You're the one walking around with the wagon, right? You're the wheels. And if the wheels fall off the wagon, now what's gonna happen to the wagon? So protect you, but then if you have an indemnity style policy, now benefits can go to pay for the uninsurable spouse. All right, so it's a policy design that a lot of people are not aware of. You can't necessarily get insurance directly if you've already had a diagnosis. However, the healthy spouse can, and if the healthy spouse looks at indemnity style coverage, that's an option. There's pros and cons to, to within that umbrella too, there's a million different products. So again, going back to your corner man, someone that's familiar with this. Investment strategy and selection. I wanna reiterate what I just said. What must, what's appropriate for one of you might not be appropriate for you, might not be appropriate for me. So, general guidelines, have a plan. Watch your spend down rate. If you have a trust that you've been counting on, you have to take a distributions above and beyond, watch your spend down rate. Might not last as long as uh, you planned for. Um, know yourself, and I'm gonna tick some people off maybe, but whatever, I've always been blunt, I'm not changing. <laughs> um, know yourself, side effects of dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical. The side effects are, among other things, perceived pattern recognition, increased propensity to gamble, okay? You might believe that you can recognize a pattern and, and, and go for it, you've seen this before, and you're 100% convinced. It might be the dopamine talking. You've gotta know yourself. It is, it, it is a, uh, it's a chemical, all right? So you've got to be aware of that, be self-aware, and have a prudent investment strategy when you're in a good head, right, good mindset, and stick to it. Don't, don't gamble. Be aware of liquidity uh, of investment vehicles that might be okay in the past. Anyone know what a REIT is? REITs can be great. There's publicly traded REITs and non-publicly traded REITs. Guess which ones pay the bigger commissions? The non-publicly traded REITs, okay? Now, it might be okay if you're speculating or whatever, but guess what? If you try to sell one of those because, oh, you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's, you need the money, the, the spread could be huge and you could lose a ton of money because you need access to it. So tying up your money, you gotta be very, very careful about what you tie your money into that you're not gonna easily be able to take it out. Does that make sense? Structured products, variable and fixed index annuities, private equity, hedge funds, limited partnerships, real estate, all different, I don't want to get in the weeds on any of them, all can be great, but what might not have been a big deal before a cash flow event may become a big deal in the future. So, uh, we covered this a little bit for traditional long-term care, there are other options, okay? Let's talk a little bit about that thing you might have by now, I don't know. It's, it's one example of, a, of an annuity, okay? It gives you 45% of the S&P, and they fully protect you on the downside year to year, right? S&P's up 10, 
you're up a little shy of five, okay, at 4.5%, right? And they lock you on the cash value. And you get 6% compound interest for 14 years on a distribution stream, okay? Sounds great, okay? The only problem is, is if you're gonna qualify for uh, all tax planning, Medicaid planning, again, that could push you over the income uh, line. So something that has a protective vehicle, like what I just described very briefly. And if, if you have assets, it could be an awesome tool in the Swiss Army knife, right? But if you're on the fringes of Altex planning, that would be a horrible idea. So you want to be cognizant of, uh, of these things. Uh, and there's other options within the annuity space as well. Here's another example, disability coverage. Are you working still? Do you have access to disability coverage? If you can get this prior to no longer working, this would be a good option as well. There's a lot of pitfalls and nuances. The thing I want to drive home most is that you have to make sure you're aware of the landmines out there so that you can navigate that and come up with a solution that is going to be best for your individual situation. Medicare and Medicaid. Not going to spend a whole lot of time here, but the key one is don't delay. You got to apply by your deadline, okay? Know what Medicare will cover and what it will not cover. Get familiar with the nuances like benefit periods and elimination periods. Raise your hand if you have a long-term care insurance contract. Awesome. All right. Y'all are the lucky ones or the ones that planned well or whatever, right? These, every one of these policies has strings, okay? Nothing's cut and dry, especially in this industry, okay? I read a lot of fine print. My eyes are going. I used to have 2015 vision. But you have to get familiar and have someone you can trust to walk you through that fine print because you want a product that's going to work in conjunction with Medicare nicely and you don't want to be paying extra to have benefits that you're not, that don't apply. So, and go to the last one. I've touched on this now three times, probably, at least. Medicaid plan. Is that likely a course? Is that a path that you might consider? You've got to know if that's, if that's a possibility, the guy you work with needs to know about that. And he needs to know how that works, or she, right? They need to know what implications that might have because the other 99% of their you know, clientele, they think that you're, you're the 100th percent, so this is gonna be great, right? And then they accidentally shoot you in the foot. You don't want that. Here's a list of resources. Uh, not mentioned there, it's something I haven't heard mentioned, but I got here a little late. Uh, is the Muhammad Ali Parkinson's Center. That, that's a great option for um, uh, some, like that Ali care they offer. That could be a great option as well, especially if you're on that, uh, the Medicaid planning route. Um, and uh, as well, I have, uh, so where's my cheat sheet? I have three points I want to drive on. There we go. Okay. Now, I briefly mentioned all tax planning, briefly mentioned Medicaid planning, briefly mentioned uh, an example of an annuity that could be a great strategy. I forgot to mention. The income stream, it gives you doubles if you have a long-term care plan. And you can use it from home. You don't have to go into a facility, right? It's pretty cool, but could shoot you in the foot if you're trying to all tax plan. If you want a referral to an attorney that specializes in all tax planning, this is what they do, and you want to learn more about that, got less than a couple hundred thousand dollars in assets total, you might want to you might want to investigate that. There's a sheet right here, write your name and number, and next to that write ALTCS, Altex. I'll get you in contact with uh, with her. Her name's Laura, and she's fantastic. Okay, she's actually on this side of town too. Um, if you want more information on some of the other items I discussed, um, the long-term care piece, anything like that, write your name and number down on that sheet and right next to that, planning. If you are all set, have a fantastic team in place, or are perfectly content with your head in the sand, then the best of luck to you. <laughs> Thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, uh, here I am.